For some reason, I remember getting busted sitting in a cart as my mom was checking out a Kmart singing uh, that song, uh, I Want to Know What Love Is. It's a foreigner, maybe. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm off the clock. <laughs> That is the best question I have ever been asked, hands down. Sometimes when I'm sitting on the couch watching TV, you can get a little lazy, and sometimes the remote's just out of reach. Who's the Who's the dude from the Fantastic Four that can stretch? Fantastic? Is it, okay, that guy. I want, you know, I give up my voice if I can reach the remote without having to get out of the couch. That'd be great. Still to this day, I think permanent. Every song I've ever written, I hear in my head a certain way when I'm writing it. And very rarely does what I hear in my head come together completely as is in the studio. Uh, but with that song, when I was writing it, I heard it in my head with just piano, vocal, and some strings. And I remember going to Conway Studios in LA, and we recorded it live with me in a vocal booth, a piano, and a was it a 20 or 40 piece orchestra? It may have been 20. Did it in two takes. And just just listening to the raw recording of that before it got mixed and mastered and all that stuff. And that that was heavy. You know, like everybody in the room was crying, I was crying. And I think that moment kind of encapsulates why I got into music in the first place. I do remember on the Idol tour, actually, um, I forget what city we were in, but we, my mom was in the audience, and somebody threw uh, women's underwear, like on stage, like obviously on stage, um, and I didn't quite know how to react, cause, just because I could see my mom, like in the audience, I had no idea how to proceed there, so that was, that's up there, I think, for sure.